Hello YouTube, today I have a review for something for Airsoft. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing my Red Dot site, and um, it is a True Glow 1x30mm uh, scope, and 11 brightness settings, and um, this is what it looks like. It's made in China. It's all metal, everything's metal. It's got a little metal uh, fast attach, detach um, knobs right here. And the first thing you get in it, um, uh, it doesn't come in a box, it comes in a plastic uh, thingy. So uh, you get that in the packaging, You and it comes, uh, here's the back of the packaging. It's True Glow Red Dot Series. Like I said, 30 millimeter objective lens, 44% more viewing area than 25 millimeter models. Lightweight, easy to mount, ideal for shotguns, handguns, paintball, or crossbows. And um, that's what I put on my airsoft guns. Um, it also comes with a uh, True Glow, True Glow uh, lifetime limited warranty, which um, it's well. The warranty actually doesn't uh, cover what most people think warranty covers. It um, basically all this warranty really covers, like most, it only covers um, defects in it. it. Like if you open the box and stuff doesn't work, that's what this covers. It doesn't actually cover anything. If it, anything breaks, it doesn't actually cover that actually. So. So if it breaks, it kind of, uh, kind of sucks to be you because you have to get a new one. Um, all right, so uh, this this scope comes with uh, two lens covers, not flip up. So you're gonna have to uh, find a place to keep these when you're using it. So there they are. They uh, fit on the uh, sight pretty uh, pretty firmly, so they're not going anywhere uh, while the while the scope's not in use. Alright, and um, here's the uh, uh, site, you can look through it right there, nice uh, big view, and um, here's the other side, not really reflective, um, it's kind of reflective, not much, it's anti-glare, so no ruby coat though, it's nice still. Uh, the adjustment knobs uh, are covered by metal caps. And uh, they unscrew like this. You can screw them. You can take a flathead screwdriver, a dime, some kind of coin, and uh, you can adjust it. It has a little arrow right here, and it says uh, turn it this way for left. And on the top, right here, same thing, uh, left for up. All right. Um, this does have 11 brightness settings, and they are really nice. Um, the battery. First, I'm going to go over the battery. The battery is installed in the top portion right here, and uh, what you do is you hold down the turning wheel and then unscrew the top part, and um, the battery is underneath there. I'm not going to do that. Um, all right. So I'll go through the brightness settings. First, I'm going to go to one. Can't really, can't really see that. Um, I'll go to two. Still pretty hard to see, um, from the camera at least. Uh, I'll go to three. I'm going to start picking it up. There you go. I can start to see them right there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And 11. And then you're back to off. I usually keep mine on um, 5. That's what I like mine at. Some, But in the daytime, I'll, I'll bump it up to at least. Um, like any other, as you get further away, the dot gets bigger. So uh, the closer you are to the scope, the dot stays the same uh, size. Um, also, this uh, scope, uh, not scope, my bad. 
Uh, it's a sight. Um, the sight uh, has limited parallax. It's not. It's not like no parallax, but there's a little bit. Here, I'll try to find a way to show you. I'll point it at the. I'll try to point it at the center. All right, center. Let's see, it moves. It moves a slight bit, not much. Um, for long ranges, if you're like using the center 22, it's gonna it's gonna matter on a 22. But for, if you're doing airsoft like me, it's not really gonna matter. Um, it says that it has a uh, shock resistance, so um, I'm not quite sure if it is because uh, re airsoft guns don't have any recoil at all. So I don't know if it'll jump or not. But uh, overall build quality, build quality is very nice. Um, only thing I'm concerned about is these uh, these adjustment knobs. Well, not adjustment knobs. The fast fast uh, attach knobs. Uh, I feel like they're made of cheaper metal than the rest of the scope, and I feel like I could strip them if I tried. And I don't, so I don't want to tighten it too hard because I feel like I could strip these if I try to. Um. But uh, other than that, the metal on this is really, really nice. Um, oh, I mean, it's got a nice weight to it. Um, yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it for this scope, uh, for this site. Um, uh, you can pick these up at uh, you can pick them up at uh, outdoor stores usually. Um, you can pick them up at some regular stores depending if it's like a, a bigger one. Uh, you can pick them up at surplus stores sometimes, and uh, what I think, I'm not quite sure if this is 100% positive, but uh, there are many, many different brands that make this exact same model scope. So what I think happens with these is I think that in China, they make a base model with no logo stamped on them, and uh, they, send them, they ship them off to the, uh, the scope companies, and uh, they stamp their logo on them and stuff, and then add different minor touches like uh, there's other ones by da Diamond Tactical that you can buy off of Airsoft websites that look exactly the same as this except they have 10 brightness settings instead of 11 so uh... yeah so that's pretty much it for this site and uh... if you would like to uh... if you'd like to see anything else uh... just leave a comment and um... that's pretty much all I have I'll see you guys next time